back. We're in my kitchen and we're going to try making mango lassi. We've been cooking Indian food today and um, my kids said, hey, let's make mango lassi. I said, we don't have any mango. They said, we have frozen mango. I was like, oh. So we looked it up. I found three different kinds of recipes, pulled and took from what I wanted to, and we came up with this concoction. It's vegan, doesn't take any kind of yogurt, not even vegan yogurt, and I think you will enjoy this because it tastes spectacular. Helping me today is my daughter, Brielle, and she has something she'd like to say. Shout out to Esteban and Enrique, and gay my trampoline buddy. That's right, and our Brazilian buddies down in Brazil and our Mexican friends. You guys get these mangoes. I think they're ripe right now. At least in Mexico they should be. So you're getting them fresh. So try this with a fresh mango lassi. So what we're going to look at here is our ingredients. We have them spread out for you. We start off in a blender, a good blender. This is a Vitamix. does a wonderful job. This is one cup of almond milk. You can use soy milk. You can use rice milk. You can use regular milk if you want to. But it's one cup. One cup. So next up we're going to put in our two tablespoons of cashews. Go ahead. Two tablespoons of cashews. Ein and die. That's German, you know. Now we're going to add the juice from half a lemon. <laughs> ah, the lemon makes it really taste like it's got the yogurt in it. All right, now we're going to put in, and you can vary the amount of sugar you want. We're using maple syrup, which gave it a nice touch. It's three tablespoons of maple syrup. You can vary this. Um, we're going to try two with this one, but you can put three if you like. Go ahead. Fill each one. And if you pour a little extra in there, it probably won't hurt anything. Uno. Dos. That's Spanish, you know. All right, next up, we have a very important ingredient. It's kind of cold. I'm going to have to grab a knife. Hold on a second here. Knife. This is coconut milk that was in the refrigerator. And so let's go ahead and put that in there. It's one third cup of coconut milk. This helps it be creamy, adds, and this is full fat coconut. It's considered full fat. It only has, I think it was 12 grams of fat per serving in the can. So that's good there. You can use the 17 grammer if you want. If you want to make it light, light you can just use the light. It has 5 grams. There's varying different amounts. So we're going to now add our mango. It's one heaping cup of mango. Go ahead. And then I like to add a couple extra just because I like mango. And we're going to follow that up with a pinch, literally a pinch of salt. Just a pinch in there and a little bit of ground coriander. This is just like a dash of ground coriander. And the last thing we're gonna put in there is about a half a cup of ice. And then Braille's gonna stick it on the blender and we're gonna have fun with that one. Bum, bum, bum. Ice and a new refrigerator. All right, the lid goes on. Why don't you take it and set it on the uh, set it on the blender? We have a setting on this one. It's on smoothie, and now we're ready to turn it on. See what this stuff looks like. You should make enough here to have three of these glasses or two moderately sized glasses. All right. 
right, let's see what we have. Here you go, a simple mango lassi. Let's see what you think. What? Mmm, good. <laughs> That's your mango lassi. Hope you enjoy it. Adios, and remember, hashtag ready.